What's up, Vivid Racing fans? We are out here in the desert with our brand new Can-Am X3 Max that we have finally finished, wrapped up with all kinds of awesome goodies on here. And we wanna show you a little bit about this vehicle and why we've chosen the parts we have. So let's check it out. All right, so we are here and you can see what we have is a perfect specimen of a 2018 Can-Am X3 Max. Now this started just as a stock vehicle like anybody else has. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to have a great all around vehicle. Something we could take on the trails, take the family in, rip really fast, hit through the dunes a little bit, but most of all, have fun. Let's do a walk around so you can see the entire vehicle. Most of these parts, when it comes to the bumpers, the side steps, the roof rack, all that is factory Can-Am accessories, stuff you can see on vividracing.com. We definitely wanted more of that uh, trail, rugged adventure look, and we've got that here. So we've got the 15 inch fuel wheels on here with the fuel tires. The tires are 32 inch. Of course, now guys are going with 35s, but uh, these are a great tire. We've run these on many different vehicles before. We've got back here, the factory Can-Am cargo box, our spare tire and factory Can-Am tire carrier. That tire is fitted with the Super ATV Ultra Nobbies. We have a full set, that's some serious rock climbing right there. Um, the Can-Am bucket this is very useful. Uh, all types of stuff, our safety kit, uh, blankets, bags, tools, other stuff. And of course, we went wide body and we've got these fender flares on here. They do serve a purpose to keep the rocks from flying and the sand and mud going everywhere. One accessory that I'm really excited about is the Super ATV windshield. I wasn't sure I was gonna be a fan, but now I've come to love this thing. Because when you're riding around trails, cold weather, desert, dust, you wanna keep stuff out of your face. But sometimes it gets hot and so they've got the lift system. So this is really cool. All you gotta do is lift this thing up. And there you go. Now you are got some airflow going in. Got the protection, direct the wind away from you if you need to, or you got clear stuff going in. So really happy about this Super ATV windshield. Also Super ATV has hooked us up with their winch system. The winch system, Fits nicely with the factory brackets, very strong winch, mounts nicely in there, and you can control that via remote, which we have in the glove box. Let's talk lighting. Now we got the full hookup from Baja Designs here. Everything from rock lights to the amber driving light, the front driving lights, and of course the upper individual lights, which put out some serious, serious lumens. Now, instead of having standard long light bars, which is an option from Baja Designs, we went for the individual lights just to get that different look. Kind of throwback to the old Toyota uh, truck days in the 90s, just kind of a different look. So here we go, we'll check them out. At night, so we've got the dual fronts there, of course, with the factory headlights, puts out some nice, nice quality lighting. We've got the amber bar, comes with a mount from Baja Designs up top. We've got the four lights pointed outside too, get some good, good coverage. And they've done also the uh, under rock lights. The rock lights you can see down there, and those are done in blue to go with our entire theme. So we've got those at all four corners. Of course, the most important part of these vehicles is the suspension. Now, there's so many different ways you can set up suspension. You wanna to turn to the suspension pros when it comes to doing that. You've got a couple options. Leave it, cruise it around, enjoy it, no problem. Option two, you can go with the Can-Am factory Fox settings where it's a tiny bit of lift, change the clicker some more. Or you can get serious and connect with the guys at MTS. Now visually, it's hard to tell what's been done. So MTS takes Eibach springs that they've spec'd and they revalve the entire shock here. Of course, we've powder coated the upper and lower to go with our theme. They have different ways of setting up suspension for you guys that are in the dunes and whacking whoops, or for someone that's doing multi-use like myself. 
So you can see that the height of this is definitely raised compared to stock. You can see those arms pointed in more. Let's talk power. This thing has tons of it with some basic mods. Now these already come with 172 horsepower from the factory, 2018, 2019. That's quite a lot for a vehicle that only weighs 1,800 pounds. So what we've done is we've done our VR tuned ECU flash, which is a plug and play flash done through the factory diagnostic port. The flash allows you to easily flash between tuned and stock, as well as use it for diagnostic clearing of codes and reading codes. So we've already flashed this car and with our flash, exhaust, and blow off valve, we are near 200 horsepower just from those easy mods. Now these are turbocharged vehicles and like any turbocharged car, you need to keep the cooling working well. Agency Power has made a bolt-in intercooler upgrade that works with the X3 RS, DS, and RC. You can see the intercooler there. And why can you see it so easily? Because we have made the industry's only intercooler scoop duct cover, which is much larger than factory. Agency Power also makes a cold air intake blow off valve with silicone pipe, and as well as several other little tiny trinkets that are available for the X3. One of them that we have done and is well known is the Agency Power Valvetronic Exhaust. The Valvetronic Exhaust features our unique tip design, which of course we've done in gold to go with the rest of our theme. Now, this particular exhaust we had ceramic coated to help keep temperatures down, but also stay super clean looking and look incredible. So the Valvetronic Exhaust is sold as the muffler only. Now, the Valvetronic part is back in here. If you've seen our other videos on our channel, you'll see how this works. When the switch is pressed on the inside, it then opens it and allows the exhaust gases to dump straight down through here and out this exhaust tip to reduce any restriction from going through the muffler. That makes it way louder and sound much cooler. Now with the valve closed, it's gonna go through the muffler and out this side. <laughs> I think we have more cool features on the inside of this than even necessary. We've got so many things going on, but they are all extremely useful. All right, we're gonna open up our carbon fiber agency power doors and jump in here. Let's start with some of the awesomeness. First, no reason to have regular door handles. We got the Reflex Beyond Extreme door pulls. Makes it a little nice. We have these done in gold to match our other part of the theme. We have our custom Vivid Racing steering wheel. Now we've been doing steering wheels like this for cars like Porsche, Ferrari, BMW. And what we do is we take the factory wheel and we send it over to our factory and they then re-engineer the wheel. Beefier hand grips. Um, we've got stripe, leather, perforated grips, carbon fiber, uh, really nice setup, blue stitching all around and we do this off the factory steering wheel so yeah you can buy a you know hundred dollar steering wheel and steering um, quick release and adapter but this is for the super luxe setup breathes nice great for driving um, not for the faint of heart when it comes to price but you know what it's incredible so behind the steering wheel we have the agency power carbon fiber bezel and we've got our agency power gauge pod this gauge pod if you've seen it on our website um, is totally configurable. You can go two on one side, two on the other, one and one. You can do many different setups. So here we've got the single and the uh, single AEM with the Razorbacks on this side. Now you could do, um, you can move these up and down because they have a, a, a fitting on the back that allows them to be positioned differently. So the AEM is a fail safe gauge with a boost and a AFR built in. So it'll tell us boost pressure and air fuel and you can configure that via USB. Now this side we have the 
uh, Razorback gauge, which we have belt temperature, which is extremely important for you guys that are doing some serious riding. And then we also have engine temperature. So going down further here, we've got the full agency power carbon fiber dash, which is available on vividracing.com. Um, we have fitted that with the rugged radios piece. So we actually have to cut the carbon fiber dash, but we need radios. Radios are awesome. Not only that, this thing gets some noise and we want to be able to communicate with the kiddos in the back. So we've got the rugged radio system, allows us to communicate car to car, and we've also set that up with a custom deal. This is using the factory Can-Am, um, what do they call this? The uh, multimedia, basically put an iPad in here. So when you pop this down, you can see our custom setup where we have the high phonics radio. This is, uh, works Bluetooth, you can plug in USB, um, pretty cool little setup. We made a trim bezel here, a 3D printed trim bezel, so it fits in here nicely. Now, we just added this, the low rinse kit, and we were looking for a good place to put it, and this is what we came up with using a ram mount. So the low rinse is a full GPS setup. This is their new Elite 5 Ti. Really cool, small, um, probably the easiest thing to install, just a power and ground wire, and we got it on this adjustable mount works nicely. Lighting and simplifying your wiring is very important. XTC Power Sports has got the plug and play turn signal, horn, and other switch systems ready to go. So we've got their turn signals. That way uh, you can easily be street legal, which is you can drive these on the street like no other in Arizona. So we've got the signals going on. We've got the horn. We've got the hazard lights. Over here they've done some other switches for us. Um, we've got side lights. We've got driving lights. We've got the front Baja Designs Amber Light. And they've done even more because we have so many things in here. Side lights, rear lights, rock lights, which also turn on the lights for the speakers. And of course, our very famous Valvetronic exhaust. Now you might notice a gold theme, and yes, we did it. But we've got the Reflex Beyond Extreme shift plate, shift knob, and probably one of the coolest things ever is Indecent Motorsports Drift Stick. You are drifting. Hoonigan handle, whatever you want to call it. Indecent Motorsports makes these drift sticks that work in the Can-Am and the Polaris. You just yank that thing, it locks up the rear, and you go sliding sideways, full rally style. Really cool. Just required a little bit of trimming down here. You do remove the factory handle, uh, but that's okay. So got that dialed. Some other little knickknacks we have is the factory Can-Am roof bag, some nice PRP handles. Of course, you don't want to ride and hold those. Those are kind of cruising, getting in and out, basic features. Um, you can see what goes to the radio. We've got the high phonic speakers, those light up blue, really cool. The rugged radios, plugins for everybody. Um, factory seats and seat belts on this car because we thought they were so comfortable. No need to change these like our previous vehicles we've done. So we're happy with those. We're gonna show you something that is not common at all in the UTV industry and that is a big brake kit. You've got 200 horsepower, 1800 pounds hauling ass in the dirt and you need to have it come to a stop. Now, Vivid Racing sells full race systems from J1, as well as we've been working on and hope to be releasing soon a special big brake kit front only for the trail and dune crowd from WP Pro Brakes. Now, this is the first debut of that brake, which we are testing out here, and it is pretty cool. We're talking a much larger rotor, six piston caliper, and some serious brake improvements. Let's check that out. Unlike the factory, this features a large vented disc that is cross-drilled and really dissipates the heat. You can see the big beefy caliper with the race pads in there. This bolts directly up to the factory knuckle, clears most 15 inch wheels. You might need a spacer for some, depending on the spoke design. Will work with 14 inch wheels. However, you need to use the Super ATV. I believe it's a two inch spacer. So right now we are testing these out here, making sure we got the right compound and everything dialed so it will stop much harder, giving you a firmer brake pedal, which is always a big issue in the Can-Am X3. Hope you guys enjoyed the walk around of our Vivid Racing Can-Am X3. If you have any questions, leave a comment, tell us what you think, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, you can check out all these parts and more on www.vividracing.com. So thanks, we'll see you at the next one.